Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville, featuring the Florida Everblades. Um, I'm Daniel Goodman, this is Matt Weiss, yeah. and uh, just remember, uh, so now that you know who we are, we all know that all of us are Nashville Strong. The Nashville Strong initiative is to help out uh, the uh, uh, victims of the uh, tornado earlier this week. Um, at, at, at this point, we would like to just ask help with uh, any donations you could give to the Central uh, Foundation of Middle Tennessee, as well as going to NashvillePredators.com slash Nashville Strong. Yep. Uh, both of them, was it, uh, both organizations are the, the same uh, Yes, group, same so. group. It's to, the money still goes back to the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee. Yep. So Nashville just, you know, they're the middleman on that one. Yep, they're just basically putting, uh, you know, their name on it and saying, like, you can donate to us so we can uh, give the proceeds to them directly. That way we could at least keep a tab and be able to put a number later. Yep. Um, so that um, when, when it all comes to a head, we can actually be uh, proud, not only... Um, yeah. But uh, even more so, like, uh, speaking of uh, contributions for Nashville Strong, Florida Everblades fans, you've got a uh, affiliation night coming up, and they will be doing uh, proceeds uh, from that night to uh, Nashville Strong as well. Yes, uh, so uh, go get to it. Uh, but the night before, if you want to take a one-night flight to Milwaukee on the 13th, because theirs is on the 14th, if you want to jump on a plane and then jump on one back and then go to the game hey. right there, if that's what you want to do, yeah. you could also come up here. Uh, we have our, uh, what is that, Dog Day, I think that is. Yep, Dog Day. On Saturday. You can meet Bender. Uh, that's an editorial. That's an editorial. We'll keep it that. <laughs> <laughs> you know why. Uh, yes. Um, uh, something about animals and sporting venues. And curses, you know. Yes. Um, we'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. We're not saying anything. Just a bunch of superstitious hockey fans here. I'm going to throw some salt. <laughs> yeah, but um, as we were saying, uh, the uh, we are uh, all trying to do our best to help them out. Yeah. So let's, uh, uh, speaking of helping people out, the play people at Wisconsin Sports, uh, Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association. There you go. Um, they help out a lot of people over there. Um, they do uh, goal ball, uh, quad, sled hockey, quad rugby, uh, wheelchair tennis, wheelchair bowling, wheelchair lacrosse, wheelchair basketball. Uh, three of them are supported by uh, members of our active uh, sporting community, like the Admirals with sled hockey, uh, the Bucks basketball with uh, wheelchair basketball, and uh, Marquette University does the lacrosse. Uh, and if they ever asked us to help with anything, I'm pretty sure we could give them manpower. Oh, yeah. Well, they've asked us, uh, they wanted us to do a sled hockey exhibition. And, oh, uh, yes, that'll be fun. It'll be fun. And embarrassing. Cause well, yeah, I, but hey, <laughs> that makes for good videos, though. Yeah. And they can share it, too. So, like, hey, look at these guys. They're screw-ups. <laughs> but no, uh, they're don't really... Tell, t tell us something we don't already yeah, know. True. I mean, why do you think I'm trying to graduate? <laughs> but no, uh, they're a really sweet organization. We get to meet uh, fellow members of their uh, sled hockey organization. Uh, Shout-out to Steve Johnson, who's an awesome goalie and an awesome dude. Uh, we love uh, having our brief conversations with you, and we're hoping to have you on here sometime. Um, best way oh, to oh go ahead. Um, also, I wanted to say, Florida Everblades fans, I know you guys like messaging us. If you guys ever have any local stuff like Wausau that you want us to promote for that the Everblades use, yeah, to, to help out there, uh, uh, we want to give a shout out to your community as well. Yeah, if there's something we could do to help give back, what. What's the Everblades normal, uh, like, what are the, the average? Yeah, what, what are their, what is their uh, regional organizations or nonprofit organizations? Correct. Yeah. You know, help us out because we're not able to get down there for games. Um, as much as we'd like to. <laughs> yes, we would love to. I mean, like, if we were trying to Amtrak down there, that'd be so many stops and exchanges. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, transfers the Greyhound would be even worse, but the Megabus routine not sponsored, but you know, good yes. Lord. But no, like we'd hope to get down there someday because I seriously want 
a skunk apes jersey. Yes, I want one too. But um, I also up, want. That, that's what they are tonight. We gotta yes, call them skunk apes tonight. I also wanted to say thank you to Alan Friedman who's been helping yeah. us out on our page. Um, I know, buddy. I was supposed to tell you to call in tonight, but it is twelve twenty-five. It's nuts. <laughs> Um, we do not want you here, uh, you know. And Alan is also one of the admins for the Die Hard uh, Florida Everglades fans Facebook yes. group. Yes. So we post up to their page all the time. We need feedback from you guys. We want we want uh, comments on what you guys want to hear from us specifically. Because only thing we can see now currently is the uh, the highlight reel on ECHL.com, which... That's about as nothing. But we did get to see a spectacular goal tonight from one of our prospects. Yes. So, boy, is that going to get a mention. But uh, other than that, uh, who who uh, funds this a little shindig? Um, besides us? Yeah, you know, <laughs> our blood, sweat, tears, and, you know, busted feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a bum knee and a bum back. from. Just well, that's me. just you being a goalie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had to deal with that, and uh, this is why I cover the thing I love. I can't play no more, so I'm going to just talk about it. You know it. All right. Like but, most... but, but who else likes talking about it? They just happen to be our sponsors at Hockey Locker. Oh, that right there. Yeah. That By the way, good. you could go 10 blocks in that direction. Yep, from, from this location only. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to jump through the video, then you can go over uh, but um, Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, right across the street from Wilson Park. They will outfit you from head to toe uh, as a hockey player and from uh, head to uh, about waist level. Yeah, right here. Right here. That's about good. Yeah. I don't need breezers. I really don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, what a, we have an event coming up at uh, Hockey Locker as well. Oh, yes, we have the CCM demo coming up. Uh, go check it out at Wilson Park. Um, the Hockey Locker is the uh, main sponsor. Yeah, Hockey Locker is our main sponsor. They uh, pretty much supply Wilson Park. They are the, the skate shop you go to if you're heading to the Wilson Ice Center. Yes, and uh, actually, uh, one Saturday a month, uh, skating at Wilson Park is free. I mean, you can't beat that. I still need to learn how to skate if my feet ever work again. Uh, yes. But, uh, I'd have to get you like a sled. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see. We'll do sled hockey there. All but, right. Um, the best way to reach them, uh, Hockey Locker, directly is at 414 800 7585. Or you can reach them directly online at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Tell them that we sent you. Tell them from Milwaukee to Nashville sent you. Yes. So let's go down to Estero. If I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, but I'm going with it. Uh, let's venture down to Estero where we get to enter Hertz Arena where the Greenville Swamp Rabbits get Hertz. Got <laughs> Hertz by Bad. the Florida Everblades. Who were actually not the Florida Everblades, but the Florida Skunk Apes. Now, for those of you who are Admirals fans who are watching this and have absolutely no clue what a skunk ape is, just go ask Matt Donovan, who is known as Squatch. <laughs> And by me saying that, you now know what that means. Yes. It is the Florida, Louisiana Bigfoot. Yeah. That's what a skunk ape is. Yep. It's also known as Louisiana Bigfoot, Florida Bigfoot, skunk ape. Uh, they had um, another name for it. Uh, oh, uh, it was uh, Ever Everglade uh, a Swamp Monster. <laughs> it was this Bayou Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Bayou Bigfoot was the other one. So it has many names, but Skunk, Skunk Ape is the coolest. <laughs> it was for their one night only conservation night, I think is what it was. Yes, uh, to help prevent uh, any more damage to the Everblades and the natural. Or the and, Everglades. Or the Everglades. Yep. Not the Everblades. Those, the we don't want the organization to be damaged. We don't want that. <laughs> no, they could go do that. The, the Everblades system that could damage themselves, they're over there in juniors in Canada. No, not that we would want that. No, no, no. <laughs> they but, just haven't done anything of relevancy in the last 20 years. Right. They, they have zero draft picks in the last 20 years into the <sighs> NHL. Ouch. But, nice. uh... Speaking of, uh, on, a, on a much more positive note, uh, the Everblades did have a little bit of a bounce back today after uh, going to uh, Veterans Coliseum in Jacksonville and not having a really good game. 
Uh, we walked out of this one four to one. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see if uh, the guys a little bit north learn from that. Yeah. After tonight's appearance with the Admirals. Yeah. By the way, I would also like to say welcome back, Patrick McCarran. Yes. Uh, after he uh, played how many games for Grand Rapids? Grand Rapids. That's right. And he played zero. Yeah. They literally brought him up to be a scratch. Yeah. Because Hicketts was hurt and is oh. still hurt. <laughs> But Florida sent them McElrath back, so I mean, no, not, of nothing, of not, nothing of important value was lost. <laughs> yeah, oh. But uh, anyway, uh, shots on goal tonight for Greenville were a total of twenty-seven, with Florida's thirty, so pretty even. Yeah, can't really beat that on much of anything. But uh, let's get into scoring. All right. You can take the first two periods. So uh, Greenville would uh, get on the board first uh, with an uh, equal strength goal by Brian Diffley with an assist by Liam Picaro. Picaro? Picaro. Let's go with that. <laughs> oh, look, at there's that similar, that, that similarness with uh, the assists there. Oh, yeah? Um, um, yeah, look on, on that uh, Everblades second period. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We get a goal by Michael Hunterbrinker, your favorite, uh, assisted by Hunter Garland and Brandon Fortunato. Uh, next would be a Florida power play goal by Cody Sill, assisted by Hunter Garland and Brandon Fortunato. And lastly, for the second period, would be the insurance goal by Justin Auger, assisted by Joe Pendenza and Lefko Koper. But this third period goal deserves a little bit of praise. And I think he's going to... <laughs> oh, it was a glorious spinorama goal by Hunter Garland himself with an assist by Derek Angeli and Ben Masala. Hunter Garland, again, we just talked about him in our last Florida Everblades video, is just showing he's ready. Yeah. The, the guy is ready. Like, if you're, you're pulling out spinoramas in the ECHL, well, he, he is. He the would've... goalie just kind of went, uh-oh. <laughs> the goalie just, he spun... And the goalie went, huh? She's like, no. <laughs> it's just like you see, like you see something that's happening in front of you. It's like Goldberg and a, it's like Goldberg and a, like a barrage of uh, Hawks players coming right at him. You just know you're doomed. Here, just take it. <laughs> Here, just take the goal. <laughs> yeah, the goal went in um, under top the shelf. Cro- top shelf under the crossbar. Wow. Just and then and, bounced back out, and the goalie swatted it down towards uh, Ken Appleby. Which Prob- with Ken Appleby's temper, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but no, much pr- uh, again. Golf claps on a massively tremendous spinorama. I'm sorry, we don't get many, we don't get to see that much up here. But when you're flashing that, was it you're flashing your stick that way? Woo! That's such a pretty sight. Um, I mean, also, you can add, um, add in that, you know, they had a pretty clean game. Yeah, um, there were only uh, three penalty, was it three, uh, was it penalties drawn by the by the Everblades? A total of six minutes, not bad. Uh, uh, four by uh, Greenville themselves, I guess. Anything in the third? No, there no, was nothing. a clean third. Yeah, I, I mean, when you when you look at it, it was a good game. Uh, let's take a look at the goaltending. You know, because goaltending's important. Who is in that? No negatives for the, uh, what is it, for the uh, the Everblades tonight. Uh, even, even down at zeros or pluses. Very good job, guys. In that for the Everblades was Ken Appleby. In that for the Greenville Swamp Rabbits was Jake Kupski. Kupski. Uh, he has 26, game, 26 saves, uh, 86.6 save percentage, and four goals allowed. Well, let's take a good, quick look at Ken Appleby, which we had him come up. He didn't need him, but, you know, Pekka was sick. Yeah, we can't have just one goalie. Yeah. It doesn't work. Our Zamboni driver does we, not we, count. We, like, have we, to use... we have to use the goal monkey. Yeah. At least he can tell you the was a, the moors were kicked off instead of like I put those moors in myself. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, uh, Ken Appleby had a twenty six save was a twenty six of twenty seven uh, tonight with a save percentage of ninety six point two so ninety six point two nine so pretty 
close to 96.3. Uh, no radio station sponsorship here either. No. <laughs> you, I know you, you're ripping on me for talking so fast like an auctioneer. Oh, well, no. The 90, <laughs> remember that old days when 96 Story was actually a radio station? Yeah. <laughs> All right, but up next, they actually play the Swamp Rabbits again. On the road. On the road, road again. again. Well, that seems to be a common trend again. Yeah. <laughs> if we sing anymore, we'll get copies right stricken. <laughs> yep, it's over. It's under 30 it's seconds. It's done. And it's a parody. We're so. done. We're done. <laughs> But uh, we're like being that we just played them, like we don't have much to talk about. But let's definitely highlight some of the was it the players themselves, just to you know, just in case. Yeah. So oh. let's see here. Are these sorted top four? Out? Our top four. We have uh, Michael Pellick with uh, 62 games played, 50, 15 goals, 36 assists, 51 team points, and a plus three. Next we have Nathan Perkovic. Perkovic. With 57. total points. Uh, team points would inquire that the whole team had them. Oh, right. <laughs> sorry. Total points. Total <laughs> points. Uh, Nathan Perkovich with uh, 57 games played, 19 goals, 27 assists, and a uh, total, uh, total of 46 points with a plus one. Liam Pecoraro. Pecoraro. Uh, Pecoraro. Pecoraro. Whatever. Uh, 38 <laughs> games played, 23 goals, 21 assists, 44 points, and a plus four. And lastly, Patrick back back no back off back off you back off yeah Yo, you back <laughs> off. <laughs> Sixty three games played, twenty goals, twenty three assists, forty three points, and a negative twenty five. Owie. So that, that, okay, here's the thing, and I, I think I should reiterate this because I don't say it okay. all the time. Go ahead. The reason I am so harsh on plus minus is because plus minus. You get a plus for every time you're on the ice for a goal, and a minus for every time you're not on the uh, you're on the ice for a goal against. Yep. So if you're a high point getter, you're you're basically screwing it up for the rest of your line. If you're a high point getter, mm-hmm. but you're a minus, mm-hmm. you're doing more harm than good. Yeah. You're you're hurting the chances for your line, than you are doing good. Yeah. But uh. On to the defenseman. We have Mike Manfredo. We have Mike Manfredo with 45 games played, five goals, 14 assists, 19 points, negative 12 on the plus minus, and 106 pins. Stay out of the box, buddy. Um, next we Him have too. <laughs> uh, seriously, uh, Chad Deshane with 58 games played. No relation to Matt. No nope. different spelling. Nope. Nope. Don't even try. <laughs> Three goals, 15 assists, 18 points, negative five with 79 pims. So basically, these are the guys that will just, you know, walk into the box for you no matter what. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Brian Diffley with 53 games played, one goal, 16 assists, 17 points, and a plus four. Dylan McPherson with 53 games played, three goals, 13 assists, 16 points, and a plus three. And lastly, Joe Masonite or Masonus with a. Uh, 36 games played, 2 goals, 7 assists, 9 points, and a negative 7. With 81 penalty minutes. Again, put him in the box, or better yet, just roll out a red carpet. Give him the uh, tooth fairy uh, treatment. <laughs> you, you put your pins under a pillow, do you get a goal? Or <laughs> does your plus minus go up? Uh, uh, Alright, so your goal tenders are Jacob. Jake Kupski, uh, seven games played, three wins, two losses. Oh, God, did they lose their top goal? Yes, they <laughs> did. Um, with one overtime loss with a save percentage of 91.8. Uh, goals against for Jacob Kupski is 2.35. Uh, then we have Hayden Hockey. Mm-hmm. Hockey. He pl- he's hockey and he plays hockey. <laughs> You win. <laughs> uh, he don't because he's oh three <laughs> and oh and his appearances this year with a four point seven one goals against average and a point eight seven eighty four point three save percentage. Ow! And in the three games, he has fifteen goals or fourteen goals against in three games. Jeez! On eighty nine shots. <laughs> Neither goaltender has a shutout. No. By the way. <laughs> well, not, well, I don't expect them to. 
Not with these low with these low gameplay numbers. No. Like if they if they're getting like at least several shutouts like at like what three games played, uh, there's something to this goalie. <laughs> yeah, why but, is he here? Uh, but good lord, this like this is just painted pretty... hockey. Um, yeah, uh, USHL, here you come. Yeah. Actually, uh, or is that the uh, the uh, SPHL? Sorry, probably, probably SPHL. Yeah, but, uh, SPHL. But eh, this could be an easy one for uh, for Florida. Honestly, these gold. Like, I'm not trying to say that these goals are Well, we also kind of got to pay attention to what happens in transactions because they yes. could get him back. Yeah, that's true. Um, also, speaking of getting guys back, yeah. um, they also got Derek Shepard back. Uh, he, I thought they he went back to the checkers. I heard I he think. got called and sent down. Hmm. Well, I could be wrong. I will double check while we... Uh, we, uh, but our do... next game is a when the next game is a Wednesday game on the road, a Wednesday at six p.m. Central for us. We like to list all our games uh, in Central Standard because confusion is a uh, you know a lovely lovely Thursday thing. is a Thursday game. Yes, they play Thursday. Thursday, excuse me, it's a Thursday at six p.m. Central. But uh, if you haven't already, uh, put your clocks forward. Yes, I know it's stupid, but just do it. All right, Derek Shepard. Okay, he was called back up. Yep. <laughs> he went back to Charlotte. But Patrick McCarron has been released. Oof. Yeah, Cam McLeese. Uh, not he, yet. He uh, still is, he's still stuck with uh, with uh, Levin's Wolves. Yes. <laughs> as well as John McCarron with the Stockton Heat. Uh. I have not seen anything on that. Alrighty then. So, but wait a minute. We totally forgot to flip the, was it? They're going on the road, Dan. So we got to make a last minute flip. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> we went that way because they're home. They went that way because they're on the road. <laughs> yep. And, they, and the alligator's still looking at him like, ooh, dinner. <laughs> Ooh, rabbit stew. It just turns into a Looney Tunes cartoon instantly. <laughs> but he's already got the carrot there for it. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, no, all joking aside, I don't take any team lightly after the Norfolk game. <laughs> no, no. Well, you can either way. Like um, as we watched today in the uh, AHL, where uh, guys in the bottom of the barrel, uh, like uh, the Manitoba Moose. Came up and completely took down a number two team. Yeah. Um, we got taken out by uh, oh, Texas. Is, sorry. Uh, the Iowa Wild. Yeah, we got taken out oh, by yeah. Texas today. Yep. And they're number seven team in our division. Yep. So we we were snake bitten. Mm-hmm. No pun intended. I mean, they're probably used to it. <sighs> Just saying. But, uh, you know, it, 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 as we put it, it is as as weird and as cliche as my sayings get, mm-hmm. and I know I repeat myself sometimes, but they always say you're gonna have nights where your team just is either gassed, or there's a little bit of rust, mm-hmm. or their mind is somewhere else. Yep. On dogs in the front office, or. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave that alone. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave that alone. I think we should leave Bender alone. Okay. Well, he's going to be a dog day. We can love him then, too. Yeah, I, I like what they're, the Admirals are doing with do Hawes. It's a good good way. Um, I just hope he doesn't chew up any of the Hawes stores. <laughs> the uh, pet supply stores. That pet supply Haas, plus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I happen to be near the one in Greenfield, yep. um, and uh, he was there on Friday. Oh, so you got to see him? No, I didn't get to see him, oh. but I have <laughs> got I have got to see him before. I do have his little paw print autograph that I the Ambrose made. <laughs> it's to, uh, for as much as some of us fans in hockey are superstitious, it's still. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm not hating on the little pup. I'm just like, ah, you. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, ah. uh, 
just remember when the Cubs were having an amazing season, a fan brought a goat to the A log came a goat. A log came a goat and, and name, it came a hundred year drought. A log came a goat and his name was Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Uh, but let's close this thing up, shall we? Yep, don't forget always that uh, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002, West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, you can also call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Um, and they will outfit you head to toe. Also, they have a drop-off uh, window. You can drop off your skates anytime and just leave some contact info and info about how you particularly would want your skin sharpened. Yeah. Do you want a rough steam or a smooth steam or do you want uh, smooth edges, light edges? Uh, do you want thin edges? You know, what do you want? And he'll make sure that you get everything you need. Just tell him what your demands are. <laughs> yeah, you tell him what to do. <laughs> Uh, we don't get to. No, no. <laughs> he tells no, no, us no, what no, to no. do. No, no. <laughs> um, but uh, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Grimmel, and This is Matt Weiss. And we will see, I, me, and Chris will see you guys tomorrow. But we will see you again, what, Thursday? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe. 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 Maybe before that. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe. maybe. Maybe before that, but we'll see. Like this video a lot if you want me to come back. If you don't, well, I might not come back at all. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be that might be the barometer you're looking for. <laughs> nah. But anyway. Well, no, we like to joke. Yeah. I'm firing him after the show. You don't. <laughs> you don't pay me. <laughs> nope. I I just pay him in hockey games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you pay me in hockey games. All right. You pay me in cowbells ring in the rung in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've realized I've been doing that a little more. <laughs> well, anyway, uh He'll start nodding off during a slow yeah, game and I'll just be like <laughs> What happened? <laughs> I had the fever. The prescription was given. <laughs> Yeah, um, we do have a lot of fun. By the way, if any of you Florida Everblades fans get an extra cowbell, we're interested. Yeah, they was it for uh, affiliation night with the Nashville Predators? We're all about that Preds gear. Yes, yes, we are. If also, get... we're trying to still find ways of getting uh, more adequate gear for like our Florida Everblades gear because I know we wear a lot of Nashville and Milwaukee Admiral stuff. But we do run into one serious problem with yeah. Everblades merchandise. Yes. We have a green screen. Yeah. <laughs> with a green screen, you cannot wear green. Yeah. Trust me, I tried wearing my Ducks jersey once. Yeah. I turned into a floating your, head. <laughs> your District 5 Fulton Reed jersey. <laughs> that thing's awesome. Of course it is. But, uh, yeah, as we said, we're always looking for ways, um, and, and we're willing to make uh, trades or anything. Well, if you, you guys, are. <laughs> if, no, because I have, well, I have a ton of extra well, Admiral I know, stuff. I know you do. <laughs> yeah, I have a ton of extra Admiral stuff, so if you're ever looking for Admiral gear, um, hit me up. I have plenty. So uh, just message our page. Mm -hmm. um, I, I say the same thing for Preds fans, so yeah. don't feel like I'm excluding. No, 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 no. Um, matter of fact, I think I brought some down there, and then the tornado kind of screwed up our drop-off for some uh, gear for some Preds fans. Mm. I kind of wish I would have uh, just went and donated it to mm -hmm. uh, some of the clothing areas. Um, yeah. But uh, we'll, see, we'll see what we can do uh, going forward. Uh, by the way, check out our next video, which will be tomorrow. For the Admirals, Everblades fans, you might want to pay attention to that one. Yeah. Um, uh, the Admirals are getting closer and closer to clinching, which means we may send you Magwood back. Yep. <laughs> Makes it Mags. It might be Craigs. We never know. Yeah. I mean, uh, Magwood didn't play today, so... We might even send Atwell back, for all we know. Yeah. 
Well, you can have them. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, our uh, no, yes, uh, our magic number is down to six now in the Milwaukee in the Milwaukee regime. And Nashville's in six. Nashville's in six. They are at the sec- in the second wild card slot. Yep. So things are looking up and up. I mean, even though our Admirals didn't win today, still things are looking up. Nothing to worry about. Well, we're still looking like this at the rest of the league. <laughs> So, I mean, when we sit there and look at it, as long as you're doing this to the rest of the league, one bad night, it can kill you. Yep, and fortunately, everybody else in the league that mattered to us uh, had a bad night, too. So, hey, can't beat it. Uh, Well, if you can't beat them, join them. No, I'm not joining them. I'm looking over them. (laughs) Yeah, I know we're looking over them, but tonight we couldn't beat them, so we joined them. Because we're up here, and they're down there. Yeah, uh, but we're from Milwaukee to Nashville. Daniel, Matt, peace. Bye.